Hi, this is uh, Fruity Louise and uh, at the moment I am in northern Thailand in a city called Chiang Mai and I've just been part of a little festival called Fruit Winter. It was on for 10 days and uh, it was just an amazing experience with lots of people from all over the world. And why do I go to a lot of festivals you might ask? Because uh, it's expensive, yes, it's time consuming and uh, the thing is I just love it. You know, there are so many people to meet and it's just an amazing experience to share your passion and your knowledge and your enthusiasm with like-minded people. One of the things we did at this event was that we went out shopping together and uh, that's really amazing to just go out with people who know what kind of food you want, who uh, just go for the same kind of thing. They know the signs of ripeness and, and we all kind of talk about it and share knowledge and experiences. And another thing we did was that we did a lot of exercise and all these people are just so fit and active and they just love to move their bodies. So we share that thing as well. And, and also this thing about going out to eat together, you know, back home or in a normal restaurant, I sometimes feel a little bit weird that I sit and eat super super healthy and I feel like people look at me in a strange way and saying oh she thinks she's so much better than us and here it was just so relaxed to be out with people who eat exactly like me and and I didn't have that feeling it was just normal to go for a salad and the fruit and then we also went on a lot of um, like trips out in nature and I enjoyed so much just exploring and, and seeing the world around us with, with chilled out and, and happy people. One night we actually went partying and um, the most amazing thing about that is that nobody had alcohol. So back home I used to drink and party a lot um, and it would be late and I'd come to bed really late. But here we just kind of went there around 7 and partied until 10. And people in the bar must have thought that we were definitely on drugs or something because we were drinking a lot of water. But none of us were and we just had an amazing time just dancing away and being silly like we used to <laughs> when we were drinking a couple of years back. And in all in all it's just amazing to chill and hang out with people who share your views, your ideas, your passions and, and you don't feel as weird as you do sometimes when you're out in the normal world, so to speak. So now I'm here with Connor, who is organizing this, uh, yeah, this little event thing. And uh, why did you decide to put it together? I uh, decided to put together Fruit Winter Festival a couple of years ago after visiting Chiang Mai, meeting some people here, having a great time, and basically wanting to re-experience that every year. Yeah. So for me, it was really about um, getting community over here and the best way that I thought I could do that is by organizing a little festival. And and what does it mean to you personally? Yeah. Well it satisfies a great human need that I think we all have which is human connection. Uh -huh. uh, that's friendship, you know, tribal, family and I really feel that. I felt that the first time I came, I felt that last year at the festival. I felt that uh, a lot at this festival. <clears throat> I've seen you being really good at connecting with everyone, so you give everyone five minutes at least to talk with you. And, and how how can you do that? Like connecting with, I think, probably 40 people here? Mm. Um, I guess I really want to, and I guess I don't th I haven't thought about it consciously. Like I'm gonna sit down with this person and then this person and uh -huh. this person. I really enjoy getting to know people and I think Everyone I've met has been super open-hearted and those are the type of connections I want to establish and keep in my life. So it's like, it's a no-brainer, you know? Brilliant. It just feels natural. Well, it's really awesome you put this on. Thank you, Louise. Thank you so Thank much. You. See ya. There is absolutely no reason why you can't join an event as well. There are events all over the world. There is my own in Denmark, of course, the Fresh Food Festival um, in July. And uh, then there's one in England, in Spain, Slovenia, um, Hawaii, the state, two in Thailand, Australia, there's all over the place. So no excuse not to find one close to you. And uh, if you want to join this one, it's, uh, well, go to a web page called handymanbananas.com and there you can read more about it. Um, and yeah, sure, just Google and, and f f look for fruit festivals around the world and I'm sure you can find one. Take care and hope to see you at some festival somewhere in the world. Bye!
If you would like to know more about the way I live and eat, you can find more information on my website. Here you can also watch videos with people who cured themselves the same way as I did. And the address is www.fruityloo.com.